Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a cartoon version of yourself in Photoshop. Now I know the title says free and you're probably wondering why I put free in there because obviously Photoshop costs money. Well, there actually is a way you can get Photoshop for free which is what I used right now because I'm not paying the money for Photoshop. So if you want to get Photoshop for free so you can follow this tutorial, I'll leave a link down in the description below to the video that I watched and I'll credit the guy who made it. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So the first thing you want to do is go up to file and you want to hit new. Your width and your height don't really matter but usually this is the preset I use. So you want to make sure your resolution is 72. The background contents doesn't matter. As soon as you've done that hit ok and it will give you a background. Next what you want to do is you want to go back up to file and you want to go to place. So you want to find images that you want to use. So I'm going to use this picture right here. As you can see this is me with a lot of other people in the background and my phone. Once you've got your image in, you want to hit this tick up here just to place it. Now you're going to be doing this process a lot, but you want to keep creating a new layer. So create a new layer. Once you've created a new layer, you want to label it whatever, you know, part of the body you're going to do first. For me, it's going to be the face. I recommend trying the face first. So first of all, we want to zoom into the image. So we're going to go to the zoom in tool, right click and zoom in. You can zoom in more if you want it to be completely accurate, but I'm just going to do it like this. So next you want to grab the pen tool. If it starts on any of these right click and make sure it's just on pen tool and none of these so i'm going to zoom in a bit more just to get a bit more accurate so warning right now the pen tool is a really really complicated tool so i recommend following a tutorial on youtube if you don't know how to use this but all you do is you place a point and then you keep doing that but whenever there's curves for example here you have to drag just to match the curves and I'm going to fast forward this process because you probably don't want to watch me do it all. But I'll get back to you when I've traced around the whole face. Oh, and one last thing. Make sure up here on the fill box, you make sure it's on this, not any of these. So now that I've got all of our, my face traced out, as you can see, you want to right click, hit make selection, leave all of this and just click OK. And as you can see, it moves these like ants around it. Now, this is a really important bit. Hold in I. On your keyboard select the color of your skin obviously uh, there was a red light reflecting on my face so it's going to be this kind of like red color but you want to select you know the color that takes up a majority of your face next you want to go over to your layer right click rasterize it and as you can see it's this weird orange color but next thing you want to do is hit on your keyboard alt and backspace and it will choose into the color that you selected and to get rid of these like moving things you just go to lasso tool and so that really is most of the process now you probably noticed I didn't join up the neck with the face because I have like a no jawline I want there to be a very defined line between the neck and the face which is why I didn't conjoin them but if you want to do them all the same you can do that so speaking about the neck I am going to move on to it so you want to create a new layer make sure you always type in the name of what part of like the image you're doing so you don't get confused and you want to do that process again and I'll get back to you when that's done. So because the neck is a different colour I'm gonna choose eye again and try go for a different kind of colour, maybe a darker colour from the neck. Once again I rasterize the layer and then alt backspace on the keyboard and as you can see it gives me this kind of red colour only because the light. So if you look really closely you can see that kind of defined thing and you can see right in between there there is kind of like a gap but later on I'm going to show you guys how to fix that if that ever comes up on yours. So far you've got this and if you hide the original image it's basically your face as you can see these white bits we can fill them in later. Next I'm going to do the hair so you want to create a new layer again label it hair and if your hair is like a different obviously your hair is going to be a different style from mine so it's basically the same thing as your face but see all these loose bits of hair you don't need to get them in but if you want to add extra details and add them in you can. not So once again I'm going to start here and start working my way around also always make sure that this is on the line and start working your way around. Now if there are kind of uh, bumps in the hair for example we'll just go like here you make an anchor point don't let go hold in and you can move and drag to make a curve and then you can just continue selecting and once you get around the outline of kind of your hair and you come into the skin bit all you do is basically go around the skin bit it doesn't matter if you go onto it or not but as long as it continues to be accurate doing this is going to leave those little white lines but as i said we can fix them later
Now that I've done this, if you forgot, you right click, make selection, hit OK, get this. Always choose the colour of your hair before you rasterize. I'm going to use this kind of light colour as my hair. I know it looks darker, but that's only because of the shadows, but my hair usually is kind of this colour, so I'm going to choose that. Always rasterize the layer, and then Alt Backspace, and as you can see, I've got my hair. Now you can see all these bits around, all these loose pieces of hair, but as I said, don't worry about it. I look, it looks like I have a boy hairstyle at the moment, but that's just the way it looks. So now we're going to move on to my clothes. Now there is a lot of detail. As you can see, there are shadows in here, there's shadows in there, and it can be all darker places. So I'm going to make them all different colors. You can make it all the same color if you want to see the, you know, like kind of a basic kind of look, but I'm going to add a little bit of detail and show you guys how to do that. So once again, make a new layer, label it whatever you want, just as long as you know what it is. So I'm going to label it jacket. I'm gonna go to the pen tool, but if you want, this is another option for you guys. You can use the lasso tool and basically draw around it, but this doesn't give a, like an accurate kind of thing as if the pen tool would, but if you don't have very much time to use the pen tool, always use this. It works just as well, but I'm gonna stay accurate and use the pen tool and don't mind my accent, I know it's horrible. So I'm gonna start with the collar up here. This is a really easy tool once you work with it, but you still have to be accurate even on these little bits right here it'll look all messed up if you don't use the curving on it so you can see here is a completely different color from here so we're going to select each little bit that has different colors so as you can see i've done that i'm going to click i i'm going to leave out these little diamonds here but i'm going to select the color now it is going to be this brownie color as you can see from the shadow i don't want it to be that i'm going to go on to the color dropper tool and I'm going to make it a blue, just the way a denim jacket would be. But I'll make it kind of a, a light blue, but like a darker shade. As you can see, probably about this. Use that, rasterize my layer, off backspace. And as you can see, it's going to make it blue. Obviously, denim jackets are not that color, but I'm going to be more vibrant and more creative during this. So I'm going to do the rest of this side of the jacket and I'll get back to you guys once I've done it. And by the way, as you can see, I'm going to label that jacket um, collar and you want to make a new layer for each section of the jacket you do. So as you can see, I've done the left side of the jacket. As you can see, there are complete different tones for every section. This section is a little bit lighter, but a little bit darker than some of them, just to show the shadows. But you don't have to do this. You can make your t-shirt or your jacket any color you want. Uh, you don't even have to do different colors. But if I do remove the image here and I zoom out, this is what it looks like so far. Pretty cool. Obviously my hair actually looks so weird. <laughs> but uh, it will look a lot better and you can easily see the white bits um, sticking out here. But at the very end of the video, I will show you how to fix them. I'm going to move on to the right side of the jacket and come back to you guys whenever I'm done. So as you can see, I'm completely done with my denim jacket right here. I'm going to move on to the hoodie. And once again, I'm going to skip this whole hoodie process. It's the same thing. But after that, we're going to get be getting on to the facial features of the face. The facial features of the face. Obviously, it's part of the face. We're going to be getting on to the facial features. So stick around for that. So now, as you can see, I'm done the whole jacket. Now we're moving on to the face. So what you want to do is you want to go down to your face layer. You want to go to the opacity. You want to bring it down down enough so you can see your facial features about 19 percent is enough you want to go over to the zoom tool again you want to zoom in and this time you want to do each facial feature separate you don't want to have it all like in one thing because once you change one thing say you wanted to lighten up the eye it will lighten up all the features so i recommend using different layers for different features so i'm going to make my first layer and drag it up just so it's above everything and I'm going to label it eyebrow. So once again, I use the lasso tool because eyebrows are not perfect straight lines. So I feel like because my hands all jiggity, it's better for the eyebrows. So as you can see, we're going to draw around them. I, oh my God, that looks like a worm. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to start again. So we're carefully drawing around them. I know that's not the exact shape, but once you draw around them, don't forget to press I on your keyboard, get the color of them. And if you don't want to use the color that it gives, 
you use the same color as your hair. Usually eyebrows are like the same color as your hair, so you know, I just use the same color as my hair. You don't have to rasterize these kind of layers, but once you've done that, alt backspace and it will fill it in. Make sure you do the same for the other eyebrow because like, you don't want to have one eyebrow. You want to do that for all the facial features, but I'm going to move on to the lips next. When you're doing the lips, make sure you do the lips in two different parts, so the top lip and the bottom lip. So you want to get the pen tool, once again, you're usually using it, and you want to go around the top lip. Now, top lips are not straight lines, as you know, they're not going to be a straight line. As you can see, there's like a little bump here. So what you want to do is you want to place an anchor point, which is just holding it and you just like move it down and then you can go back to putting them in ignore this bit right here if you're not so good with the pen tool and using the like curvy bits just place a uh, anchor points really really close to each other so then it can still create a curve so i always make my top lip darker than my dark lip it's going to be in around this kind of color maybe not so much but if you do want to use the dropper tool you guys can use it so i'm going to use that that's what the eyedropper tool is giving me rasterize it Oh, backspace. Do the same for the bottom lip and don't forget to create layers. As you can see, I've got a bunch of layers down the side and it looks like there's going to be loads, but honestly, it'll help you when you're trying to fix everything up. So next, we're moving on to the nose and the nose is a really complicated process, so you have to watch this. Go to the pen tool as you normally would. I'm going to start up on this end. So you want to make one of the, like when you're putting down like your pen tool markers, Make sure one side is going to go up more than the other because the other bit's going to stop about here, but obviously we're going to start like up here. So you carefully want to go down the nose. You don't have to follow exactly, but make sure you follow roughly this shape. Someone's messaging me in the back. Go away. I'm social distancing. So once I get to here, as you can see, there's a curve. So I'm going to place a point and I'm going to drag it out just to curve it. Now my next point is going to kind of go up anyway, up there, up here. And you want to follow roughly the same shape that I'm doing around my nose. It doesn't have to be exact, exact, because obviously your nose is not my nose. So once you get here, I'm going to stop about here. Now this is where it gets really, really complicated, so you have to pay attention. Once you get here to the end of the other side of the nose, you want to make an anchor point down away. It's like right next to your line here. It will look really, really weird, but you need to do that. And it's creating like kind of a gap in between them. You can't see it now because they're all like jumbled up. But as you can see, if you look really close, it's creating a gap in between and that's what we want. Make sure it's a, it's not right on the line, but it's pretty close. You want to do that the whole way around your nose and I'll get back to you guys when I've done it. So once you've joined it up, as you can see, it's leaving this kind of shape. It's obviously not going to be perfect. I'm kind of rushing on it. But you want to right click, make the selection. You want to go to this uh, color tool. You want to make it black. You want to go to this uh, like color tool right here. You want to rasterize your layer. And then you want to select your foreground color as black. And then make it black. And then go to the lasso tool, click on it, and it leaves you with this. So as we know, that does not look good. <laughs> that really doesn't look good. So what you do is you stay on the nose layer, go to opacity, and put the opacity down roughly to about 29%. And as you can see, it leaves this kind of white, kind of grayish line instead of a big thick black line. Next, I'm going to do the eyes. You can do your pupil. I'm not going to do my pupil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start in one corner, hit the next corner, but don't let go and move it up. And as you can see, it creates a curve for you. So this is a lot easier. I know the pen, pen tool can be really hard to work with sometimes, but it honestly helps a lot when you're doing things like this. And then you just join it up, you know, you kind of rearrange it. I'm really bad with I'm really bad with this too, so I'll get back to you guys once I've done this. So now that I've got the shape, I just want it to be white. So make sure you choose your foreground colors white again. And always, always rasterize it, otherwise it won't work. So I like to keep my eyes just pure white. I don't like adding the pupils, but if you want to add the pupils, you can. You do. You just repeat the same process I've been doing this whole video. So that's the only facial features I'm going to do. So I'm going to zoom out right now. As you can see, this is what our uh, picture looks like at the moment. Don't forget to go back onto your face layer and raise the opacity all the way back up. 
and that's what the face looks like pretty good honestly so the last thing that's left to do is to make a new layer label it background i can't spell i'm like and basically all you have to do is go to this 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 right here go to this pick whatever color you want i'm gonna pick like a nice green big lime green and you just oh don't do that so what you do is you want to go to this two right here you want to select a color you want i'm going to use this green right here this nice vibrant green you want to drag your background layer all the way below everything else use this two right here select your image go back onto this and then you can dye the back if you don't like it you can remove it but i'm going to dye the background and then you just go back onto the suit tool, hit this and there you go and there you go you've got your own background now as you can see there's a big part missing here you can fill that in i'm not going to fill it in but the thing we haven't done is fill in these white gaps the filled in these gaps right here so i'm going to show you guys how to do that now so first thing you want to do is always zoom in so you can get accurate but zoom in to the point where it shows these um little squares here scroll up to where you want to fill in so for here it's going to be up on the forehead select eye on your keyboard again i'm going to fill it in with hair select the color of your hair go to the pencil tool right here make sure it's the pencil not the brush or anything else and you color it in pixel by pixel but make sure up here you're uh it's at one which means one pixel so you're not coloring in a whole bunch of pixels at the same time and all you do is you fill that in. My computer's pretty slow at the moment because I'm filming a video and OBS slows down my computer. But this is basically what you do for every single thing you want to fill in. So I'm going to speed up the process of me filling everything in and come back to you guys when I'm done. So as you can see, I'm basically done filling in. You can still see there's a bit there, but if you like zoom in that much to those little pixels and look at it for too long, it can make you sick. And if you look at it for too long, then look at your wall or anything around you, your eyesight will be distorted for a wee bit. So that's why I'm gonna stop. But that is the end of the tutorial. If it did help you, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, because 95% of my subs aren't even subscribed. So please subscribe to my channel and help me get to 2k subs and if you want me to edit one of your photos and make it this cartoon and put a lot more detail into it message me down below on instagram i'll leave the link to my insta down below just message me and ask me send me a photo i'll do it for free but you have to have a reason why you want it done and that is the end so see you guys in the next video